Hi and welcome to another video series from DreamingHotRods.com. I'm Dave Ailey and I want to share with you the methods I used for the engine mounts in my own 36 Ford. When we're running high horsepower, uh, we tend to obviously use our right foot heavier than normal and we don't want our engine mounts to actually snap. If they do, you risk your sump dragging on the ground, spewing all over the road and causing accidents. This version of an engine mount here is typically not well liked by the um, local authorities if that bolt was to snap it can engine can drop further and hit the ground right so I want to share with you the method I've used in this car and I tore out the original front end which contained the engine mounts you can see it there pretty poorly engineered I didn't like it um, was done in the 1980s it, uh, so it's been a hot rod for quite a while so it has lasted but it just um, it's just not up to par with today's standards um, so what I've done actually, you can see on that there, the poor design. Uh, admittedly that mounted to the front of the 350 Chev, but I want to use the original side mounts on the 350 Chev, and I want to show you using an original cross member as you can see in that picture. But I only want to use the ends where those mounts have come from. Now normally those rubber mounts, you can purchase them new from Bob Drake, but this is what I'm doing. I'm using an original old front end sourced out from say swap meets, Right, and I cut the ends off them only. Right, now I trim them down to suit and sandblast them and grasp graft them on to the front end that I fitted to the car. Now by doing this, obviously it's very cost efficient. It's using up, it's, it, it worked originally. Um, it mounts in a, a say a, an original engine mount that you can purchase from Bob Drake's. Right, so fitted them up both there, sandblasted them on, um, strong as. So also you've got to maintain and think about your steering, so make sure that clears. Now there's the actual engine mounts that I've purchased from Bob Drake, fit it up. Now that engine, if those bolts were to break, the engine will still sit there. But they generally won't break because they don't have the force on them. The actual rubber has the weight of the engine, so there's no real strain on those bolts. But there also, I've got to make the actual engine brackets to suit those mounts. So I typically just used, made up a little template out of cardboard again, traced it onto some steel plating and cut them out and just fabricated my own to suit. Right, so I made sure the engine was sitting square and level and made sure everything else was clear. Yeah, clear of the sump, clear of all the steering, etc. So there they are, fabricated up, I fitted them up, um, they work a treat. I just painted them um, with some black pressure pack can, for example. Now the engine's sitting nice and true and square, straight, and I hope that's helped with your engine mounts for your own hot rod.